Welcome to Tell Me the Treasures. Today we're learning the Dharam page 67, which introduces a new chapter of a young woman who is at the stage of a Naira, who gets engaged. And at that stage, we say that both the husband and her father together, if she makes a neder, if she makes a vow, that they can both step in and they could have it annulled so that the vow no longer stands. It has to be that both of them do it. If only one makes this annulment, but the other one doesn't, it doesn't work. The father-in-law and the husband have to be on the same page. And on this, the Ron discusses that we can understand that a husband is not interested in being in a relationship with a woman in which she has all these different vows. She puts all these restrictions on her and which makes it very, very difficult to be able to live because this woman has all these different things that she can't do or she therefore will not allow in the house, which makes it a very restrictive and challenging environment. And therefore, it actually brings down a situation where a person upon betrothal says, I will marry this woman on condition that she does not have any vows. So the law is that if in fact it turns out that she did have vows, then we can understand that was a condition which was a deal breaker and therefore they're not married. But there is a way out, as we've seen before, that if an individual has a vow, they can go to a sage and have it removed. Now, interestingly enough, when it comes to the removal of those types of vows, it's something that works retroactively, namely that it's as though this person had never made the vow to begin with. Even though this woman had already, in fact, made this vow, he had this condition of betrothal that she did not have any vows. In fact, she did. But since they were removed, we say that retroactively, it's as though she never had any vows to begin with. And therefore, it's fine. And the reason for this is because the truth is this man really did want to marry her. The only reason why he wouldn't want to be married to her is if she would walk into this relationship with all these different conditions and vows. However, if they were removed, it's as though that they do not exist, and therefore they'll be able to live a harmonious life together because it's understood that now they are able to live without any of these restrictions or, or vows. So we see from here a couple of important details. When it comes to this particular stage of this woman in age and in marriage, we see that the father-in-law and the husband see eye to eye. And we find so many times, unfortunately, where there are struggles when it comes to in-laws, that the father-in-law and the mother-in-law don't like the choice of who their daughter ends up marrying. And for that matter, maybe the husband doesn't like them very much either. And that's obviously a very unfortunate situation, which causes tremendous levels of conflict. So we see over here, just on a simple law, that it's necessary for things to work out, for the annulment to actually work, is that both the husband and the father-in-law have to be able to see eye to eye. They have to be able to end up agreeing. And when you agree, then you can imagine, in general, such a relationship will be a lot easier to, to deal with. But again, we see, as the Ron mentioned, that a person does not want to be in a relationship where someone has all these conditions, all these expectations, all these laws. These are things that add tremendous anxiety and stress into a relationship. It's not to say that a person shouldn't walk into a marriage and be giving. A person certainly should be someone who is a participant in the relationship and is constantly thinking of the other person. But when the other person has so many standards and restrictions and obligations and different things that make the relationship so much more stressful, that is something which a lot of men uh, will shy away from. And therefore, to this extent, we will say that this woman could have these vows removed, and by doing so, they'll be able to live a harmonious life.